people noticed what was happening outside Tesla's Fremont factory that late July 2025. A vehicle covered in a black tarp, gliding silently through the streets near the plant, seemed like just another test prototype among many that had passed by. But all it took was an image captured by an amateur drone circulating online to catch the attention of enthusiasts and experts. The silhouette was familiar, but there was something different, something more compact, more to the point. Within hours, theories exploded online. Was Tesla discreetly testing the much-talked-about Model 2? Confirmation came like a bolt from the blue. What many considered just a rumor became reality, and even more surprising, a real price. Use 90th off 175s. That number alone would have been enough to make headlines around the world. But what really caught everyone's attention was what it represented. For the first time, an electric vehicle from a globally recognized brand was being offered at a lower price than many used combustion engine cars. Tesla, known for its high-performance, high-value models, suddenly delivered the seemingly impossible, an electric car for everyone. This launch wasn't just the announcement of a new product. It was the breaking of a symbolic barrier. For decades, the debate surrounding electric cars always came up against the same issue, price. The promise of a clean, quiet future seemed reserved for the wealthy, while the majority of the population remained trapped in fossil fuels. But with this price tag under $10,000, the Model 2 not only became affordable, it became a direct threat to the reign of gasoline. And the timing for this reveal couldn't have been more strategic. The market was already saturated with empty promises, paper prototypes, and startups that barely made it past PowerPoint. Meanwhile, Tesla was quietly delivering a real product, running on real roads. And what's more, with all the signs pointing to mass production. The contrast with its competitors was stark, and the message was clear. The game has changed, and those not ready to keep up will be left behind. The decision to keep the car camouflaged until the last minute was also a masterstroke. Instead of a glamorous event, with lights and applause, Tesla opted for suspense. The car appeared like a ghost, a secret revealed without warning. And this had an immediate effect. People weren't just curious about the car, they were hungry for details. What's it like inside? What's its real range? How is this price possible? Each question further fueled global attention for the Model 2. But perhaps most curious, is the absence of any cheap element in the proposal. Even though it's the most affordable Tesla ever made, the Model 2 wasn't advertised as a simplistic or limited-sense car. On the contrary, what we saw was a bold promise of a range exceeding 250 miles, with hardware ready for autonomous driving and access to the same charging infrastructure as premium models. And this doesn't sound like a marketing ploy, it sounds like strategy. The impact of this revelation goes beyond the automotive sector. It's a direct challenge to the industry's economic logic. A true electric car, priced under $10,000, forces governments, manufacturers, and even consumers to rethink everything. Why continue investing in combustion engines when there's now a concrete alternative that's cleaner, cheaper, and requires minimal maintenance? The Model 2 didn't just answer that question, it screamed it. While many were still trying to understand how Tesla had managed to get to this point, one thing was already certain. The Model 2 was no ordinary car. It was a declaration of war on the status quo. And more than that, it was the first time an electric car looked, in a suit, like it belonged on the streets, and not just in the storefronts of dreams. A new chapter was opening, and this time, with all eyes on Fremont. With the initial price shock still reverberating through the market, the next question was inevitable. How does Tesla intend to deliver this car in record time? After all, it's not just about announcing an aggressive price. It has to be delivered. And if Tesla has learned anything over the last decade, it's accelerating the impossible. The stated goal is clear to have the Model 2 on the streets by the last quarter of 2026. 
But unlike its competitors who rely on push dates, Tesla has a real trump card, its rocket speed production capacity. Those who follow the brand know that the Model Y went from prototype to production in less than 12 months. And the Model 2 was already spotted testing on the streets of California in July 2025. This isn't just a sign that the car is almost ready. It's a message. We've already started. B. E. This tight timing is only possible because Tesla doesn't rely on external suppliers at every stage. With its vertically integrated model, it controls everything from design to software, from the battery to assembly. And this complete control of the production chain drastically reduces the delays that plague other automakers. The biggest revolution, however, lies in the way the Model 2, Mount 2, will be assembled. Forget traditional production lines. Tesla is adopting the so-called unboxed system, a methodology in which the car's parts are assembled separately and only then joined together, like a giant jigsaw puzzle. This approach allows multiple phases to occur simultaneously, in parallel, rather than sequentially. The result? Production time can be reduced by up to 30%, and the cost per unit can be reduced by $1,000. For a car costing less than $10,000, this difference is significant. And it's not just theory. The factories are already ready. Giga Texas, Giga Berlin, and Giga Shanghai are already operating with the technologies needed to mass-produce the Model 2. These facilities use giant printers called gigapresses, capable of molding entire car parts in seconds. This not only speeds up the process, but also ensures incredible precision. Furthermore, the use of artificial intelligence in the logistics and quality control of these plants allows for near real-time adjustments, optimizing every minute on the production line. Another factor is Tesla's already achieved production volume. In 2025, the company surpassed 2 million vehicles manufactured per year and is continuing to grow toward 3 million. This means the company's structure is far from experimental. It's massive, efficient, and scalable. The same machinery that currently produces Model Ys and 3s at industrial speed is being prepared to put the Model 2 on the road at a scale never before seen for an entry-level EV. And we're not just talking about speed. The logic behind this accelerated production is strategic. Delivering the Model 2 as quickly as possible means capturing market share before rivals can react. No traditional automaker has yet managed to deliver a functional EV under $20,000. Tesla, with its years-long advantage in batteries, software, and assembly, is leaping straight to the $9,000 mark and if it can deliver this quickly, its competitors will spend more time reacting than launching. Another important point is that this haste doesn't appear to compromise quality. Tesla is focusing on scale without sacrificing engineering. The combination of Gigapress, modular assembly, and behind-the-scenes AI ensures precise repeatability without the bottlenecks typical of manual production. What previously took months and dozens of suppliers to complete can now be done in days within the same plant. Expectations now focus on the delivery schedule. Tesla indicates the fourth quarter of 2026 as the starting date, but the brand's track record suggests some units may appear sooner, depending on the region or configuration. The promise is that those who reserve first, with a refundable $250 deposit, will have priority access. And considering the speed with which the Model 3 broke pre-sale records, there's a good chance the Model 2 will repeat, or even surpass, this trend. What truly sets the Model 2 apart from any other electric vehicle is its incredible combination of affordability and a solid ecosystem. It's not just about paying less than $10,000 for a car, it's about receiving, along with it, an entry pass to the most robust infrastructure in the EV world, and that completely changes the game. After all, what's the point of having a cheap car if it can't be easily recharged, or if it lacks technical support, connectivity, or updates? That's where the Model 2 really starts to upset the competition. For this price, consumers aren't just getting a means of transportation, 
They're also getting over 250 miles of range per charge, instant access to Tesla's supercharger network, and integration with systems like Starlink, which can provide connectivity even in remote areas. This means that even if they live far from major urban centers, Model 2 owners can charge their car quickly, stay connected, and still count on automatic updates to improve performance and safety over time. While other manufacturers are still in their infancy in creating their own charging networks, Tesla already operates over 70,000 stations worldwide, with increasing usage rates and increasingly shorter charging times. And the Model 2 arrives ready to use all of this without requiring adapters or complicated processes. Just park, plug in, and go. This alone elevates the car to another level. And when you look at competitors that don't even have their own charging infrastructure, the difference is stark. Another point that makes this proposal almost absurd is the onboard hardware. Even though it's Tesla's cheapest model, the Model 2 arrives with components ready for full autonomy. This means that, once the software is released, the car will be able to drive itself without the driver needing to change vehicles. Something like this was unthinkable for a car in this price range. Tesla, once again, is playing with forward thinking. It currently offers a product that's already ready for technologies that are still being refined. Furthermore, the model will feature over-the-air updates, one of the brand's key differentiators from the outset. Unlike traditional vehicles, which require visits to the dealership to fix bugs or install new features, the Model 2 receives everything automatically via the internet, just like a smartphone. This ensures that, even years after purchase, the car continues to improve, and most importantly, at no additional cost, no bureaucracy, and no wasted time. Technical support is also part of this smart equation. Tesla already invests in simplified maintenance, with mobile teams that come to customers instead of forcing them to waste hours in workshops. With the Model 2, this approach will be even more valued, as it reaches an audience that values practicality and value for money. And all of this, combined, means the model doesn't rely solely on its initial price to be attractive. It's cheaper to maintain, use, and upgrade than any other option on the market. The Model 2 can still benefit from subsidies in some states, as well as federal incentives that further reduce its final price for the consumer. And with a fully refundable down payment of just $250, the barrier to entry virtually disappears. Many users who never even considered owning an electric car are now considering it, not for status or environmental reasons, but because it makes sense for their wallets. The market is already feeling the impact, Analysts expect demand for the Model 2 to surpass the historic mark for the Model 3, which had over 300,000 reservations in a week. But this time, the audience is even larger, more diverse, and more geographically dispersed. And each reservation doesn't just represent a new car on the streets, it represents Tesla's expansion into territories it's never been before, putting its rivals under enormous pressure to respond or disappear. The first impression upon looking at the Model 2 from the front is that something has been drastically simplified, but with an elegance that only becomes evident when observing the details. The headlight, for example, is not only narrower and more angular than in previous models. It also features integrated thermal channels that aid passive cooling and light guides that improve beam uniformity. These changes, which seem subtle at first glance, have a direct impact on aerodynamics. Optimizing the headlight housing alone can reduce vehicle drag by up to 1.3%. It may seem small, but in automotive engineering, that's a significant leap. Further down, the front grille has practically disappeared. The Model 2's front end is low, smooth, and continuous with minimal interruptions. This isn't just a visual quirk. It's a strategy to improve airflow and optimize cooling of interior systems without relying on open intakes. Instead of visible holes, Tesla opted for internal ducts and cooling circuits underneath the vehicle, which do the job more efficiently and without affecting the design. The result? A drag coefficient 
that hovers around 0.21, a figure that rivals luxury models like the Lucid Air. Anyone who pays attention to the car's side details will notice another subtle yet revealing change. The amber reflectors, previously positioned low, are now in a mid-range position, integrated into the bumper. This shows that Tesla reconfigured the entire geometry of the vehicle's front end to meet the reflectivity standards required in North America, but without using extra parts. This means less complex assembly, fewer production steps, and less chance of failure. Every cut, every adjustment has a purpose. On the side, the proportions were recalibrated to deliver a more compact look with reduced overhangs and a short rear end. This, combined with the use of giga casting on the rear axle and likely the front, allows the Model 2 to eliminate up to 300 individual parts that would be common in a similar car built the traditional way. Fewer parts mean less weight, fewer wear points, and production savings of between 10% and 15%, according to documents leaked by Tesla in 2023. And the most interesting thing? All of this was adapted to maintain structural rigidity. The door handles have been redesigned, making them even simpler and more elegant. They're recessed, but now use a capacitive touch system that eliminates visible moving parts. This change reduces wear, improves dust and water sealing, and contributes to the car's clean aerodynamic appearance. Combined with tighter tolerances between body panels, they help reduce wind noise, one of the most criticized aspects of affordable EVs. The windshield, in turn, has been redesigned with thinner A-pillars and a more pronounced curvature. This choice improves driver visibility by up to 14% compared to the Model 3, according to viewing angle calculations. And the side mirrors have been given a shark fin shape, smaller and more integrated. They should house internal cameras, which could reduce reliance on ultrasonic sensors and also lower energy consumption. It's engineering with every watt saved in mind. At the rear, the roof slopes gently downward to form a liftback style hatch, which expands access to the trunk without sacrificing airflow. The taillight bar is incredibly thin and embedded in a single horizontal panel. This configuration was tested on the brand's prototypes to reduce turbulence that occurs when the airflow separates and can eliminate small eddies that increase fuel consumption at high speeds. Even the license plate has been repositioned in a recess that helps direct air away from the rear. Nothing about the design seems aesthetic for aesthetic's sake. Every curve, cut, and joint serves a functional purpose. The goal is clear. Achieve over 300 miles of range with less than 60 kilowatt of battery capacity. And, to date, no other electric vehicle under $30,000 has achieved this. The Model 2, by all appearances, is poised to break this record again, with a design that's not only pleasing to the eye, but also beneficial to the wallet, efficiency, and mass production. Just step inside the Model 2, and you understand that it's not a standalone car. It's a living piece within an ever-expanding ecosystem. The goal here isn't just to offer an affordable means of transportation, but to integrate it into modern lifestyles as naturally as using a smartphone.